Hi and welcome to Shoves classes. Today we are going to be solving some very important questions on sampling and estimation theory of quantitative statistics. You can WhatsApp or call us at the given number for any doubts, queries or for more full videos on our courses. Now in the first question we have a simple random sample of size 16 is drawn from a population with 50 members. What is the standard error of sample mean if the population variance is known to be 25 given that the sampling is done with replacement? Let's see how to do this. Here n equals to 60. You should always first write the given information. Therefore standard error of sample mean x bar equals to sigma by root n which equals 5 by root over 60 which equals 1.25 upon calculation as the answer is number A. Let's see another very easy question. In the next question we have a random sample of 500 oranges produces 25 rotten oranges then the estimate of standard error of the proportion of rotten oranges in the sample is thus given as P equals to 25 out of 500 which is equals to 1 by 20 or 0 0.05 thus Q equals to 1 minus P which is equals to 0 0.95 and n equals to 25 thus standard error of p equals to root over small pq by n this is equals to root over 0 0.05 into 0 0.95 whole divided by 500 this comes to 0 0.0097 or 0, 0, 1. 0, 0, 1 upon calculation oops I have made a mistake 0 0.01 is the correct answer that is option A now another sim similar question but a very easy one if the population is is known to be 5 for a population containing 80 units then the standard error of the sample mean for sample of size 25 without replacement now again let's write the given information sigma equals to 5 the population size is n capital n equals to 80 the sample size is n equals to 25 thus here small n by capital N equals to 25 by 80 which is equals to 0 0.3125 greater than 0 0.05 so the finite population correction factor is required therefore standard error x bar equals to sigma by root over n minus 1 root over capital N minus N by capital N minus 1 which equals to 5 by root 24 into root over 80 minus 25 by 80 minus 1 this equals 5 by 4.899 into root 0 0.696 upon calculation let's see what the answer comes 5 by 4.899 into 0 0.834 which is equals to 0 0.85 that is option number D let's try out a different kind of sum a sample of size 3 that is n equals to 3 is taken from a population of 10 members that is capital N equals to 10 with replacement. 
If the sample observations are 1, 3 and 5, what is the estimate of the standard error of sample mean? Let's see how to do this. In this question, summation x equals to 9, that is 5 plus 3 plus 1. And summation x square equals to 1 plus 9 plus 25, that is 1 square, 3 square and 25, 5, which is a 20, 5 square. And this is equals to 35. Now standard deviation equals to root over summation x square by n minus summation x by n whole square which is equals to root over 35 by 3 minus 9 by 3 whole square which is equals to root over 2.66 or 1.633 also small n by capital N equals to 3 by 10 which is equals to 0 0.3 which is greater than 0 0.05 so a finite population correction factor is required that is standard error x bar is equals to s by root over n minus 1 into root over n minus n by n minus 1 which is equals to 1.633 by root 2 into I'll do this in a separate page so that it becomes clearer for you One point six three three by root two into root over ten minus three by ten minus one, which equals to one point six three three, one point four one four two into zero point eight eight two, which is equals to one point zero two. Now in the next question a random sample of the heights of 100 students from a large population of students having SD as 0 0.35 meter are shown and an average of 1.175 meters. What are the 95% confidence limits for the average height of the all the students forming the population? These are the options given to us. Now let's see how to do this. We have sigma equals to 0 0.35, x bar equals to 1.75, thus z alpha equals to 1.96, therefore standard error x bar equals to sigma by root n which equals 0 0.35 root 100 amounting to 0 0.035 therefore the confidence interval which is let me write the limits only first confidence limits are x bar plus minus plus z alpha into standard error x bar which equals to 175 minus plus 0 0.35 into 1.96 thus this equals 175 minus plus 0 0.0686 which is equals to 1.68 meters and 1.82 meters thus option A is the correct answer with this we come to an end of another great video 
please like subscribe click on the notification button for more amazing videos also you can whatsapp or call us at the number given on the screen that is 9836793076 for full videos or for any doubts or any queries.